What would Sherlock Holmes do? If he were real, if the stories were real, what would he do? Search the ground for footprints. In the very first Holmes story, a study in Scarlet, the first act of detection he ever does is to examine the ground for footprints. Damn, it's carpeted. But Holmes always finds footprints. This is deranged. I'm a literary researcher. I, I study mysteries. I don't solve them. Sherlock Holmes is not real. And I'm not a detective. Hey, I'm Graham Moore. I wrote The Sherlockian. So the book is about what happens when a literary researcher tries to use his expertise with the Sherlock Holmes stories to solve a real-life crime, while at the same time, in a past storyline, Arthur Conan Doyle himself, the author of the Holmes stories, tries to solve his own real-world case. So in a sense, it's a meta-mystery. What happens when a consummate reader of mystery stories and the author of the greatest mystery stories of all time each tries to solve a real-life crime? The Sherlockian is a mystery novel about people who love mystery novels. I think people love mystery stories because we all want to believe that the world has answers, that like the chaos out there is explicable, that you know bad things happen left and right, and we want to believe that it happens for a reason, and that someone, Sherlock Holmes, Arthur Conan Doyle, Harold White, literary scholar, can go in there and figure out why these things are happening, that, that the things that happen aren't just chaos, that they're answerable. So I literally learned to read on mystery stories. The, the first book I ever read cover to cover was Agatha Christie's Murder in Three Acts. I was six years old and I'd lay in bed with my mom, passing the book back and forth. She'd read a page, I'd read a page, and, and that was the first book I ever finished. And I've been obsessed with mystery stories ever since. I, I always dreamed about writing one, and so I did. 